Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to prepare a quick red tail surf perch masibi. You're going to need the Maggi seasoning sauce, um, chili garlic sauce, or sriracha. You can use uh, for the chili sauce, Tabasco sauce, or you know Frank's Red Hot. It's up to you. Uh, olive oil, and this is a masibi press. You can get these off Amazon. I think I got two for about $8. Again, they're called Mississippi Press. And then your uh, seaweed that you use for rolling sushi. And of course, uh, the perch fillets. And I already mixed a sauce for it. Um, one tablespoon of soy sauce, the Maggi seasoning, um, or any soy sauce. And two tablespoons of the uh, chili garlic sauce. I like mine spicy, so that's why it's kind of red there. I add a lot more chili. Um, you know, just mix it according to what you like. You're also going to need about a medium bowl of uh, white rice, white steamed rice, cooked. Okay, step one, I'm gonna add a little bit of soy sauce. Add it to your taste. Um, it's up to you. Probably right there is about good enough. Looks like about one tablespoon. And then I'm gonna add this chili garlic sauce again add it to taste I like it a little bit spicy so I'm gonna add a lot on there just like that probably about two tablespoon there and then you can get your brush and just mix it up really well like that all right I got the pan here um, with oil about uh, one tablespoon of olive oil I'm going to put in the perch and we're going to go about three minutes per side. Probably no more than three minutes. And if you if you really want to get technical, you can just uh, use a timer. Okay. All right. There's my timer. That was three minutes. Uh, you don't have to be that technical, but just kind of eyeball it. Um, you know, cook it to what you like. Fish doesn't take a whole lot. So as you notice, I didn't season it um, because this is going to be our seasoning, the the sauce right here. So now I'm going to pour in the sauce all over that. Just like that. Okay. Mm. I'm going to baste it. And then I'm going to flip it over. got a really nice color to it so I'm gonna go about not quite three minutes probably about two and a half minutes this time once it's almost done um, you can also base it base the other side this side with the uh, sauce as well just to give some added flavor you don't want to leave it cooking too long um, because this has the soy sauce in it and just remember with soy sauce when you reduce it it becomes very salty so don't cook it for too long probably no more than two and a half minutes once you flip it and right about there when it's, when it's about two minutes I just turn off the heat and that's it that's, that's done right there fish doesn't take a whole lot of time to cook. All right, now we're gonna prepare the seaweed. Um, the seaweeds come pre-perforated, um, so you can just bend it. All 
when you tear it off, you need uh, one that has four long sheets on them, okay? Uh, some come in even size. Unfortunately, I got one with an with a odd, odd size. So you need about four sheets. One, two, three, and four. And then just lay it right on your surface. And then you can get your Masibi press. Um, it's got a little arrow. Uh, you want that pointing up. And just kind of lay it right there. Now you're going to get your rice and you're going to put it on the bottom layer. Okay. And you get your press and just press it down. Just like that. Okay. Now you just get your fish and it's not exactly even size so you know it doesn't really matter just like that put one layer on there and then you put another fillet right on top of that okay so rice um, fillet of fish and then the last layer is a rice. Now you have probably seen this done with spam. Um, and with spam they use this, uh, it's called the furikake, norikomi furikake rice seasoning. Now it's optional. If, because we're marinated in soy sauce already, you don't need this. Alright. Okay, so last layer of rice goes on the top just like that okay now you're gonna take the press and you're gonna actually kind of clean it up a little bit so it's not so messy make sure all the rice fit into that mold all right just get the press press it down Okay, so like that, and just lift it up. Sorry, before you lift it up, you know, press it down, and you, you're gonna lift the side, lift the mold up, just like that. So there's your rice fish and then the seaweed so that looks pretty cool it's like a, a rice sandwich right. and then the last step is to fold up the seaweed just like that because our rice is sticky it is going to stick to the uh, rice now fold the other part up just like that. So there is your perch misibi. Right there. That's it. This is not really an entree, it's more like a snack. Okay. Okay, so the last step is pretty simple. Um, any perch misibi is not complete without your angry orchard. Okay, that is the most important step. Do not forget the angry orchard. Okay? Alright guys, I hope you like this recipe. Thanks. See you next time.